Have you heard of underpainting? It's one of the latest beauty techniques making waves online and for achieving a beautiful natural makeup look. And here to break it down is Lisa Vella. Looking like a statue, a trophy, I love it. So you say you've been using this technique for years. What's it all about? So underpainting has been around for decades. Yeah. And it's all about sort of putting your makeup on in the reverse order. So starting with your contour, mm -hmm. your contour, your shading, your highlight, your blush, and then applying your foundation and concealer after. Okay, so are we getting achieving maybe a lighter look? So it'll be more natural. So yeah. on trend for 2023, everybody, please get on board with this look. Yes. Um, it will provide contouring, but very subtle. Yeah. I use it all the time on okay. people that are 18 all the way to 60. Beautiful. So less is more. Less and is I'm more. digging that. We've got our model, Nicole, here. Come on in, Nick. So you've got Nick, you've got her face done on one side, and we're, you're going to work with the other side. This mm -hmm. looks absolutely beautiful. She's glowing, but it's very uber natural. So yes. how do we start? So skin prep is the most important step. So yeah. we want to serums, moisturizers, mm -hmm. eye creams, lather that skin up because you want the skin to be as soft as, and supple as possible. Fair enough. Okay, so we've done the skin prep. Yes. And now we get into... We're going to go in with the contour. All right. So we're going to start at the hairline and work mm -hmm. your way down. And then you're going to go right under your cheekbone or right above your cheekbone, depending okay. on where you want that contour to be. Yeah. And then we're going to go along the jawline. Maybe turn your face this way a bit so everyone can see. Yeah, there you okay, go. Okay, so you could kind of see it's in the shape of a three. Mm -hmm. We're going to go right along the side of the nose, and that way we're going to get a bit of contour action there as well. Okay. And we're going to blend this out. I like to work, blend as I work, so that way you have the most control with where the product is going. When you apply everything all at once, mm -hmm. it kind of blends all in together. There's a right. little bit less control. So we want to blend this out, make it nice and smooth. Beautiful. Okay, next up? Next up is highlight. So we're okay. going to highlight the high points of Nicole's face. So her cheekbone, the bridge of her nose, mm -hmm. a little bit on her chin, and you could even do forehead. Now, if you have a more pronounced forehead mm -hmm. and you don't want to highlight that, then you're going to skip that step. So always yeah. know what your goal is. Right. Right? You don't want to go to a 10 with all the contouring steps if you don't need to. Got it. Beautiful. Every time I see this online, I'm like, we're going to war. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's just, and there's something really beautiful about it, but I understand it's just technique. Absolutely. Right? So you yes, blend that right. in. So we're going to blend that in to soften it all. Mm-hmm. Make oh, sure I can it's see nice it already. The light is just bouncing right? off you, Nick. It's Love beautiful. It. Love it. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is lovely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to also add blush in. Okay. And because you, if you're a person who likes a subtle blush, yes. very natural, then we're going to add a little bit of blush and you could underpaint your blush as well. Very interesting. And a lot of us are not, yeah, putting on our blush underneath. We're doing that after. But this is a great way to blend it into the look. Mm -hmm. This will make it more skin-like. Yes. Again, on trend for 2023 and the natural makeup. Yeah, I like that. So moving on from that, yes. we go on to... What do you the think? foundation. You got it. Are you ultimately putting on a little bit less foundation now? You're going to use less foundation. Obviously, I have a lot more on my palette. Yeah. Just for safety. Okay. For TV. Got it. <laughs> but yeah, you yeah. will not use all of this foundation. Yeah. And you're going to lightly buff it in. And what I would do, in my professional opinion, is yeah. to use a medium to light coverage foundation. You're not going to go mm. in with a full coverage it's not needed, mm -hmm. um, and it will. It is a little bit too heavy. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna kind of wash out everything. We're not doing masks. We're not doing masks. Yeah. And, and we want to be natural. We want skin to be skin. Absolutely. So we just blend that out, and as you can see, it's a really soft and beautiful kind of airbrush finish to the skin. And that's the brush that you would recommend using as well. You want something soft feathery and fluffy. Got it. Rounded brush, yeah. always a good thing. Beautiful. And then we could just go in with a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Look up for me. Amazing. So concealer almost last on the list, which is very different. That's you can do beauty. concealer last. You can yeah. also do it second last if yeah. that serves you right. It, I like to do it last because it's not going to move. Concealer is a product that we really want to stay put. Yeah. We want it to be dense. Yeah. Okay, so, beautiful. So to finish off this look, um, if you were going to finish off the look, you can see on the other side of Nick's face, if you can just close your eyes for a sec, Nick. Mm -hmm. She's got beautiful eyeshadow there. 
um, soft bronzy eyeshadow soft, bronzy suits eyeshadow. everybody never uh, uh, out of style yeah and then a beautiful soft color on her lip and she's ready to go this could be a daytime or look a nighttime you. look beautiful Nikki.